MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers. Now to the plate, Jose Ramirez. He will lead this one off today. The 1-1 one, one home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Things expected to warm up a bit as the afternoon goes on, but still just 52 degrees here at game time. And there's one down now. Coming to the plate now, Cesar Hernandez. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1. One, one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Set to get his day started, Francisco Lindor, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Skied down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Stepping up now, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Next for the Tigers, Harold Castro. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Castro. That's popped up. And no one will track it down. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. A payoff pitch one more time. Hit out towards second. And that's the second out. So striding forward now, Miguel Cabrera is ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. The 1-1. One, one. Nip the corner, two and two. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. The second baseman. Here's the one and one delivery. Shoots this one over to first. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Swing and a liner, but foul. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. At the plate, Carlos Santana. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Two and one to the Indians' first baseman. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in. And there's out number two. Digging in, Oscar Mercado. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Slow roller, left side. He's got a hurry. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired.
Here's Cameron Maben now. Previous battles with Carlos Carrasco. He's only two for ten. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. The 1-1. One, one. I got 2-1 to count. Bottom of the second here with no score. High in the air into shallow left center. Lindor is calling for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And look out as that fastball ran in and got him. Ouch, Brand. Into the box now, Nico Goodrow. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. He's fallen behind now, three and one. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. The next batter, Jamer Candelario. The early season numbers look very good, as he is up over 400 here to begin the campaign. This guy's off to a blazing start, the kind of start we all expected. I think he'll be right up there on the leaderboards at the end of the season. A swing and a miss there, two and two. You know, from a hitter's perspective, you get pounded in, and then he throws a nasty changeup away. Is the mindset to tell yourself that he's going to go in and out all day long, or is he going to double up? That's the cat and mouse we're seeing right now. On the ground for Hernandez at second base. First, and the Tigers wind up with nothing as the inning is over. Ball set for the start of the inning, so digging in now, Domingo Santana. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Striding into the box Jordan Luplo is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Good spot for the change there and that'll knock things up at two and two. And he struck him out as well so the bottom of the order providing little resistance here and there are two away. Now at the plate, Roberto Perez will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. He'll get it into second. The third baseman, Jose Ramirez. In now, Jose Ramirez. All even now, two and two. Two and two, here it is. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning.
stepping in and ready for another shot. Victor Reyes. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And the throw to first will be in time, so they stamp out the bunt attempt. Now that Grabbing forward now is the D.H. Harold Castro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And it's 1-2. One and two. Fastball. Strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. The 1-1 one, one home to Cabrera. The bouncer to the left side. Ramirez is there. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Standing in, Cesar Hernandez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. In the air now, out to left. Reyes is there and he'll bring this one in. So the base is empty here with one away. That'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop and perennial MVP candidate Francisco Lindor. Out of play. The 3 2 one more time. Grounded to the right. And that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. Now that the designated hitter, Daniel Reyes. Stepping in now, Fran Reyes. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Now that the first base hit. To the plate now, Carlos Santana. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Into the box now, Oscar Mercado. This one's flared toward left center. And that's in there, base hit. The left field, number 24, Domingo Santana. At the plate, Domingo Santana. High in the air out to center field. Chasing after it is Mabin. He's got it. A nice play there, two away. Now in the box, Jordan Luplo. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Three runs already home here. And they set up away with the fastball, but it misses. Three and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Roberto Hero. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Oh, 
And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. and one. And he fouls this one off. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. At the plate, Cameron Maven. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. So two outs now for the Tigers in their half of the fourth. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. Carrasco pauses, looking to put him away here on a ball and two strikes. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now, Jose Ramirez. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. I mean, what a diamond in the rough Jose Ramirez has been for Terry Francona and the Cleveland Indians. This guy burst on the scene in 2016, just absolutely set that lineup on fire. They were looking for a guy to bail out Michael Brantley and the production they would miss from him in the lineup, and Jose Ramirez filled that admirably. Line to the right side, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now a throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. Hernandez, base runner at first with one out. So now to the plate, Francisco Lindor. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Now a hard liner. The 2-2 is swung on and missed. He got him. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Fran Reyes. He singled his last time up. Oh, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Settling in now, Kristen Stewart. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And it's off the wall in front of the bullpen. And the Tigers are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. Now batting. Good stop. Nico. Goodrum. In now, Nico Goodrum. 
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2-2. Two -two. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase, and he makes the catch in the corner. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now Digging in now, Jimer Candelario. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball middle of the diamond and steal a run. Now the 2 1 pitch. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Oh, right back to him on the mound. He'll send it on over to first, and a big out there as that keeps the runner anchored at third with two away now. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Victor Reyes. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Now the 2 1. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Two outs here with a runner at third. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Jordan Zimmerman will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Jordan. Digging in once again, Fred Moraes. He's one for two in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Now batting. Digging in and looking for more, Carlos Santana. He had that big three run homer in his last appearance. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Another payoff pitch. And this one misses to Santana, and he'll take that free pass down to first. So coming to the plate, Oscar Mercado. Last time through was a base hit. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Reyes is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Stepping into the box, Harold Castro. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. A good movement bearing in. It's two balls and two strikes. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And they'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Off trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. 
and this will miss down low in the dirt so he's worked it full now at three and two. Jonathan Scope waits on deck. And now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now. In now Jonathan Scope 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. 3 and 2 now. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the lineup. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. New inning set to get underway. Digging in, Jordan Luplo. It was a walk in his last trip. The 1-1 is taken for ball two. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really... There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Stewart is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate, Jose Ramirez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Peter caught too much of the zone. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Jose Ramirez is the second out in the seventh inning. The 1-1. Takes a pitch for strike number two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Has a look. Now the pitch. Fouled off. A runner on first with two away. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Ready once again, Cameron Maben. And he'll face Carlos Carrasco to get the inning underway. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So stepping in, Austin Romine. He was a ground out victim last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Outside in a full count, three and two. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. So it was a strikeout Number swinging. Four. Austin Romine becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. And he 
struck him out his eighth punch out of the ball game and that one ends the inning. Ready to begin the eighth digging in the switch hitter Francisco Lindor he's got a hit in three at bats to this point Maddie he checks every box charisma smile hits from both sides of the plate with pop defense you name it GM's dream right here now next Matt, will be the designated, designated hitter friend Lorenz he's working on a one for three thus far the one two skied in the air to straightaway left Reyes is going to get there as he backs up to put it away and there are two gone now here's Carlos Santana now he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two bases are empty here with two men out There's a curveball, but it misses well out of the zone. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. Looking up is the right fielder. Stepping in now, Oscar Mercado. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. The left field, number 24. At the plate now, Domingo Santana. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Nick Whitgren is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 62. Nick. Leading off the inning, Nico Goodrum. And they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Into the box, Jimer Candelario. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Boy, oh, he just threw that fastball by him. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. To the plate now, Victor Reyes. Change up taken for ball three, well below the zone. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four, anyways. In there, a base hit. Now batting, the dedicated hitter, Harold. Into the box, Harold Castro. A little bit outside, two and one. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. And this is on the ground to first, could be two. One there, on to first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. set to start the ninth in this one stepping up to the plate Jordan Luplo it was a walk in his last trip now the three and two pitch this is line to left and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit 
Ninth innings underway with a leadoff man aboard via the single. Now back. Standing in now, Roberto Perez. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Grounded back up the middle. Throw in time at first for route number two. Brian Garcia takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Cesar Hernandez. Cesar Hernandez will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Smoke toward third. Scooped up. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out and a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Dominic Leone will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 53. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Ah, no leadoff walk just yet as that finds the strike zone and the count comes full at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Here's Jonathan Scope now. He's batting cleanup but has been shut down so far at the plate 0 for three. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. Perez is there and that's the second out of the inning striding in once again Cameron Maven he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side two out here in the ninth now a swing and a fly ball and this should do it he brings it in and the Indians have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Yeah, these guys don't care where they play. They've now taken the first two of a four game road set and they're guaranteed at least a split. Now we'll see if they can take the series tomorrow. Four nothing the score this afternoon. Cleveland took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Carlos Carrasco earns the win his second as he finishes seven innings allowing only one hit. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Cleveland Indians. Four runs on nine hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Tigers, no run, three hits, no error. They left six men on base. Time with the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.